Hey, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, how you guys doing today? Or I suppose it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In order, right? Something about being in order today. I'm not usually like that. You know what I mean? Like, a little bit messy, but something about being in order today. That's necessary, okay? Something about getting things in order. The messages are flowing. Had a very, very strange dream last night. A friend of mine says, there's only two kinds of dreams, bad and crazy. And I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's crazy is a pretty broad latitude. What do you define? How do you define crazy? So, um, yeah, but very much a burning. I woke up with a burning in my solar plexus and my heart this morning. And so um, that tells me stuff is going on. Stuff is moving. Energies are really moving. So we're going to be doing a, a live with the Capricorn full moon lunar eclipse next week that's going to be pretty major this reading is for messages to come through on the 15th and 16th and the um full moon eclipse is 16th and 17th so this i feel like there's really powerful messages coming through this is the most powerful um manifesting energy of the entire year so get ready to manifest okay start doing it now Start doing it now, round and round. Oh my word, this card keeps coming out. <laughs> of course it does, because it's round and round, right? Like, yang energy. To be fair, there's your Libra energy right there. There's something about taking action on a lesson here that's balancing for you, or that balances something out. I feel like someone is going to reach out to you and this is going to balance things out. If things have been out of balance and you've just kept going around and around with this person, look at this card, the Yang card, the reaching out to you. Okay. Reaching out to you. Okay. So let's see. So this is a general read. So just keep that in mind. You can swap around the energies. Of course, not every reading is going to be for everybody, but if it resonates with you because of the title, so I feel like someone is going to be reaching out to you. I feel like that is going to make you feel better about something. Um, give them the space. Give them space to reach out. So hold space for someone. You know, um, I realize that there's a very um, visceral, I'm moving on kind of feeling about things when things are out of balance. Get yourself in balance. Okay, don't worry so much about the other person. Don't worry so much about your activity or your action. All right, even though that's a yang card, I feel like it's you who are in the space of being reached out to. Okay? All right, air sign. Let's see what's going on here. I don't have my water. I'll get it for the extended. I know. I know. Yeah. Strength card there. Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is inspired to move toward you. They could be a Leo. This Leo time period is going to be incredible. If you didn't see, if you're in the twin flame energy and you didn't see that reading I did the other night, Leo time period is going to be the first wave of reuniting. If we get a judgment card or a six of cups card here as we go through, or a lover's card. <laughs> okay, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Ace of Pentacles. One of you has love all around you, has an offer coming in. Heads up. Four of Cups. So somebody needs, a, needs to pay attention. Someone's coming toward you here. Yes, Eight of Pentacles, Star, Six of Pentacles. Balancing things out. Balancing things out here. Knight of Wands, Fool, Seven of Cups. So, okay. <laughs> this is a passion, grounded passion, brand new offer coming in. Coming in for you here, air sign. Gemini right there, right there. Uh, this person is inspired to come toward you. Like I said, um, you're going to have a choice to make here, lovers and this four of cups. You're looking, you have a choice 
between focusing on the past and doing reacting out of the past energies of this, or you can pick your head up and see that it's an Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, because this person is working on healing right now. They've, they've probably gone through something. If you haven't been talking, I don't feel like there's conversation right now. This person's coming back around to you to make an offer. Same card almost, look at this. This person is coming back around to you to make an offer, okay? And it will balance things out, like I said, to be fair. There's going to be, um, I'm surprised we don't see the Ace of Swords here because that feels like the truth. Okay, but we in this card, there's the Ace of Cups, right? And this person's not seeing it. So the universe is saying to you, heads up. Um, I feel like the Ace that's missing is the Ace of Swords. And so that's what needs to balance things out is some kind of truth. Needs to balance things out. This person could have in the past come at you maybe like a Knight of Wands, could be a Sag energy, they could be a fire sign, could have come at you in the past like that. Um, and it was confusing, Seven of Cups. This, you may not really see a whole lot of difference in this person, but there is something new about this because of all the Ace activity here and the balancing activity and the star flat out in the middle. Okay, the star is, they are, they now know where they're going. Whoop, I see my North Star. You are the North Star here. So there's something that's going to be very confusing about this Seven of Cups energy. You might be like, I got a lot of choices. Well, I don't have to choose this, right? You might be looking at three other situations, three other people, or a third party, or it was a third party in the past. And you have a lot of choices here. Okay. They could still be in some semblance of dealing with that other situation. If it was a third party, they could still be in that a little bit, but they're working on getting out of it. That is the message. They're working on getting out of it. So working on getting themselves free. And I feel like if you are turning your back on the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and focusing on the past, you're going to miss this. So like I said, heads up, this is an offer, a really big offer, a legit offer. I like the Ace of Pentacles here. This is a legit um, try. Okay. I'm going to say try because I might, some of you are going to rebuff this because you're like, ah, oh, this person in the past really, you know, was just a player, okay? In the past, there might've been a player or there was third party or something about it was like not coming together. But I feel like they've made a decision in their life. Um, and they've been working hard on it. This eight of pentacles here. This could be a wheel. Yep, page of wands. King of Swords. So Aquarian energy here. I feel like they're meeting you at that place. All right, air signs. You guys are very um, logical. And this person could be a fire sign, earth sign here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I feel like they're meeting you where you are. Okay. I feel like they're, they're meeting you in a logical place. That's kind of new. Trying to be fair. Give them a fair shake. Give them a, give them a fair chance because they are moving into, this is a destiny, fate, moving towards something new. Page of Wands and King of Swords here. They have a new, this offer is, is a little small. You're not seeing the big picture here. Because you're focused on the past. So again, pick your head up and see the big picture. Because you're, I mean, you're Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, man. You're big picture people, right? So for some of you, you could have been really working on yourself. And this person has now made a choice to move beyond a stuck situation <clears throat> and make an offer. You could feel like it's too little. 
maybe too little too late. You could feel that way about this. But I'm telling you, this person is genuine and they are making a legitimate offer. Okay? This is a new thing. So if you feel we've been round and around and around this barn, give this person the space, hold space for them to explain what they mean. Ask questions. Uh, do this King of Swords thing. So when you say this, what do you mean? What does that mean? What does that look like? Right? Ask them questions. Because I feel like this is a, a very much they want, you are their wish granted, okay? And they are doing the work to come to you. And I feel like they will, they get it, right? Like if this has been round and around, like they get it. But I would hold space for them to share. Let them talk. Let them speak. Let them communicate. Okay. All right, air signs. We're going to keep going with an extended. The link is below for you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, I will see you on the other side.